England 218 all out. India finished their day 135 for one. India trail England by 83 runs and of nine wickets remaining. Not a good day at the office for England. And of course, uh, the series belongs to India anyway. This is a dead rubber. But there's no such thing as a dead rubber, says Steve Harmison, who joins us live. Steve, uh, mate, you're doing well still being awake. But uh, how do you look back in that? It's a tough day for England. A great first session. England batted well. Then all of a sudden, Ollie Pope runs past one. And 100 for two at lunchtime, you're thinking, well, yeah, it's still been a decent day for that one you know, minor blip. But then after that, ah, I've, I've, I've defended this team and I've defended the mindset and I've defended the way they've gone about their their cricket. And I, and I, I'm, I still think this is the right way to go. But I just sometimes wish they'd be a little bit smarter. I mean, I think India bowled nicely. I think India created pressure. But I don't think India had to work too hard to get England 218 all out. I think England, you know, for want of a better word, you know, they, they give their wickets away and they blew up. And you know, I'm a massive Newcastle fan and Newcastle didn't win the, the entertainers, didn't win the Premier League all them years ago. Yeah. And if you, you can score as many goals as you want up there, but if you don't close the back door, you will not win. You'll not, you know, sustain pressure and, sure. and overcome and go sure. beyond. And that, for me, is why New. Uh, that's why England, again, have. I mentioned that little bulletin there. Forty-five minutes in three or four of these Test matches has cost them why they're three-one down, and a mad forty-five minutes has possibly cost them this Test match. I mean, at, at the same time, you commend the way they play mm. this baseball type thing that so much has been uh, made about. But so they're getting a bit of a pass. To that extent, are they not? You're still commending the way they play, but they're playing badly. They're just making bad decisions. Execution, the shot execution, and the other. If they if they feel as though that's the right shot, they're executing it poorly. Um, mentally, I think they've gone with the right mindset to India to play against India in their own back garden. Go remember, this is Ashwin, Kuldeep, and and Jadeja, three unbelievable spin bowlers. But you still you still have to have. You have some sort of defence. You still have to have some sort of mindset. And, you know, the clue is in the title. It's test match cricket. It's not franchise cricket where you play 120 balls, trying to hit a white ball as far as you possibly can. The reason why it's test match cricket is because there's passages in play where you have to absorb pressure, you have to suck it in, and then you have to go and, and do it again. They're 135 for one. Jaiswal, Shubman Gill. Um, Sh- uh, Jaiswal, Rohit Sharma and Shubman Gill mm. have done exactly that for 30 overs, and that's why they're one down. And, you know, we've been bowled out. We've lost 10 wickets for 218 runs. I mean, I know Simon wants to come in on this, but I'm seeing one or two messages and I'll put them to you. Is there any pride uh, in coming out as a worthy loser? No, there's no pride. But Ben said that. There's no pride coming out of the, as a worthy loser. But the, the difference between the last team that went to, the last two teams that have gone to India, with a negative mindset, trying to absorb... and bat as long as I possibly can in difficult conditions on pitches which have been a hell of a lot worse than what they're playing on at the minute has w- one thing so the mindset's changed and England have come out and played a better way and played a more forceful way and put pressure back onto India but again you know, just little moments have cost, cost yeah. India and you don't open the door yeah, this is the problem England haven't got the bowling attack uh, you know, from a spin bowling attack for India to make mistakes for England to capitalise on they're, you know, India have got three unbelievable spin bowlers in their own back garden. You give them one sniff and you lose. And they're you in, lose in Exeter, though. He's listening to his awful play from England. This basketball doesn't work. They're playing a test uh, match over five days and they can't defend. Ben Stokes needs to take a look at himself. I mean, I'll, I'll put it to you, Steve. What is the real difference between a 3-2 series defeat and a 4-1 series loss. Well, there's there's extra championship points, World Test championship points, um, and you go away by giving you know giving a better of account of yourself. The one thing I'm worried about is I actually think over in India, England have had some goodwill on the way they've played in a lot of a high percentage of this cricket series so far. It might have just gone out the window this morning. Really? I think so. I mean, you, you look back at are you going to look back in this Simon and say, well? You know, they achieved a lot. There was a lot of goodwill there. Maybe it tapered off, as Steve says, towards the end. But it's another serious defeat. Well, I'm going to price into the context of who you're playing and who you're playing against and where you're playing. It's not a fertile ground for most test sides to go to India and get very much from it anyway. And the ridiculous 
hyperbole that started coming through the cricket fraternity after we won the first test that we were going to go on and win this series, you know, three or four one, which I found strange given the voices that were actually putting that forward because they're normally the voices of reason and given the fact that the Indians didn't have some of their players available in the first test and they got them back in tests two three or three four and five or uh, you know gives an indication but I, I'm just curious to see whether you think some of the some of the bigger players have made uh, carried their weight in this in this series you know we've had criticisms of Joe Root during the course of the series for shot selection and decision making processes we're seeing collapses in innings repeatedly now we saw it in the last test we saw it in the in the in the test before that what do you make about the, the, the philosophy of front foot cricket and a front front foot sport to me just makes common sense you take it away from the opposition I wish the England team the football team would have more of that so the principles are right, but we're now distilling it down to, to individuals making individual errors at key times. Mm -hmm. Is that not uh, um, not necessarily something that's curable in the in the longer game rather than something that should now be cemented as a result of getting our heads handed to us in the last two or three tests? I just think, Simon, sometimes it can be used as a crutch in a flippant way of just masking over, oh, well, this is the way we play. I don't like that. You know, we we play. Yeah, we got to win. We got to win. We yeah. got to go with a mentality that does. But with the minute your pressure comes, it's who cracks first. And if you crack constantly under pressure and you give these chances to Kuldeep, Ashwin, and Jadeja, they will punish you. You know, we'll punish you. You mm -hmm. you look at if you put it in football in terms, you could play ninety minutes against Erlen Holland. You give him five minutes where he gets the space that he needs. He scores three goals because you give him a chance. If you give these these lot a chance away from home in their own back garden to 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 and I, and I and I, to come on to your point about the senior players, there's some experience in this team. You know, Crawley Crawley Pope have played forty over forty Test matches. Root, Bestow, and Stokes have all played a hundred mm -hmm. Test matches. They've been to India multiple times before. The problem you have is the minute you make one mistake. You've got to then make sure you don't make Compound a second it, one yeah, quickly, yeah, yeah. and I think yeah. that's what you, yeah. what you that's what you're trying to say from a senior yeah. player's point of view. The problem England have made, they've come play, m multiple mistakes. Forty five minutes cost them cost them a, a large part of that session, cost them that innings, and then potentially they've cost them the Test match. Okay, well they trail England by eighty three runs with uh, uh, nine wickets remaining, so India in a very strong position after that first day. Steve Harmison, back to bed for you, my friend. Well done. Um, uh, of course, uh, live coverage, uh, more from India tomorrow morning, live on Talksport Two on AM, on DAB, via the Talksport app, and on your smart speaker. Talksport.